Hi folks, how you doing? All right, so today's video is going to be going over what I think are the coolest features and indicators available to use on the platform tradingview.com, which is in fact probably my favorite charting platform out there today. It's great. As you can see, this is a beautiful chart and I'd put it up on my monitor even when I'm not looking at the markets just because of how pretty their platform is. All right, so let's get right into it. First things first, the magnet tool. All right, so the magnet, they have a tool basically. So magnet mode snaps drawings placed near price bars to the closest low, high, close or open of a bar. All right, and I'll show you why this is so useful. So for example, let's say I'm looking at Apple and I'm looking at day trade Apple next week. So with the levels I'm watching on the daily time frame, I'm gonna place horizontal lines on my chart at the levels that I think have the most significance. So the command for placing horizontal lines is Alt plus the letter H on your keyboard, Alt H. So if I turn off the magnet tool, basically I can place, what the heck is going on? I can place any of these horizontal lines anywhere I want and they're not gonna lock into anything, okay? And when you're done with that, you right click and remove drawings. Now, if you want your horizontal lines to really lock in to the price points, the exact low of the day on Apple and the exact high of the day on Apple, the exact high of that pullback, then you're gonna to wanna to use the magnet tool in conjunction with your horizontal lines, okay? So when I place my cursor on this bar, at the low of this bar, I could be anywhere as long as my mouse is positioned on the time frame of that bar, it will basically, and now I do Alt H, it will, it will lock in the horizontal, excuse me, horizontal line to the bottom of that candle. You saw that? Now, if I go right to the close of the candle and I press Alt H, it will lock in the line to the close of that candle. So again, that is one of the most beneficial tools in TradingView that in my knowledge, no other platform has this awesome feature. So let's say I'm looking at day trade Apple. I'm gonna mark in the low of the last trading session I'm going to mark in the hot, the all time high, just for an example, you know, and you can see how it locks in those prices right away and you can see them on the right side over there. Okay. So that is, in my opinion, one of the most useful features available. Okay. Got it. All right. Next. So the, me okay. The measuring tool. This is another great feature on tradingview.com. So basically you hold shift and you click and it will, and you'll be able to drag this to whatever interval and it will show you how many bars the number it moved and the percent that it moved so you can see in 10 days from the open of that bar apple moved nine percent or 8.97 percent so that is one of the most useful tools for measuring percentages in a market so you can say uh, from the low to the high on on friday's trading session apple moved four and a half percent down. So just by doing shift click. So again, that's one of the most useful tools in trading view. Cool. Next. Okay. This is a really cool one. This is the invert chart feature. So in case you felt like seeing Apple be very bearish for whatever reason, all you have to do is hit alt I and it will invert your chart. Now, the reason I think this is useful is because sometimes you might be looking at a chart and you might not be exactly sure of what you're looking at because maybe you've been trading that market for so long and at this point it's just giving you a headache or something, or if you just want to get a different picture on it. So looking at a chart like this, for example, and I do alt I, you can see that's what the inverted chart looks like. And it can just gives you a different perspective on the market you're looking at, just basically the opposite. All right, invert chart, alt I, got it? All right, next one. Now I'll show you a couple, two indicators I really, really appreciate from tradingview.com. Number one is the pivot points, high and low. So when I turn on the pivot points, depending on whatever you have it set to, it will mark in the highs and lows that occurred during whatever uh, interval you set it to. So the lower number you set it to, I have mine set to 12 on the highs and 12 on the lows. The lower you set it to, the more sensitive it is essentially and the more price points it's going to mark into your chart. And the higher you have it set, then you'll see less numbers showing up on your chart. So if I just pull up 
SPY, this is a daily time frame, you can't see much. Let's say I go on the uh, four hour time frame. You can see a few prices marked in, but still not too many. You can see more of them on the hourly there. That looks a little better. Then you can see our lows and highs pretty nicely. So thank you for the pivot points, high and low indicator. All right, now the last indicator I, I really love is the volume profile indicator. Here we go. So this will show us an indication of based on the data you have, because TradingView does not have all market data unless you subscribe to it. Now this is based on whatever data I have, which is the SIBO exchange, which is just by default, you get that on TradingView. This is showing me the volume that occurred at every price in the time frame that I'm displaying right now. So from the beginning of the month here, January 6th approximately until January 31st, I can see what vo the amount of volume that occurred and how much the ratio is between buy and sell volume. All right. It doesn't tell you the short r float of a market, but in my opinion, that's not that important to, to get your general picture. But this volume profile is something very interesting. So you can use it to identify certain key price levels that have a lot of buying, a lot of selling. And uh, yeah, so the volume profile indicator, we can look at the settings real quick. So you can see here, you can uh, choose how you want it to be laid out, number of rows or ticks of per row. You can adjust your row size. You can adjust the, you can set it to up or down volume or total volume, value area volume. And then here you can change the colors around, show values width of the block of the box. And this here right here is the POC, which in uh, it translates to point of control. And that is the price that trades the highest volume out of the um, time frame you've chosen. So what it's telling me here is that the, this red line here is the point of control. And that is telling me that at 327.45, between that, between 327.70 and 327.20-ish is the price that traded the highest volume on this instrument in the time frame I've chosen. All right, so you can use that as a reference point to identify maybe support and resistance or where your where your market's positioned, where your traders are potentially positioned, all right? So that's gonna conclude this video today, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. And go and use tradingview.com if you would like to sign up with an account. Use my referral link, I put it down there. So take care and enjoy your day, bye.